Alright guys, today we're going to be showing you uh, these ice packs and uh, um, cold spray. Um, uh, my brother um, hurt, um, hurt his leg um, when we were uh, training because I don't think he stretched before. And we used this ice pack on this one here and a uh, cold spray. And uh, we keep them in like one bag and we have like an inhaler in there as well. So, uh, so those are the stuff we have in there. And uh, we bought all this from Decathlon. So basically, um, let's go for the cost. So the ice pack, the ice blade is small one. It's 150 mil, so it won't do much. Although this was the only one when I first went like a while ago, a good couple of months ago, this is the only one I had. Um, it was two ninety nine, decathlon. The decathlon next to uh, Manchester, um, the um, as the Eastland opposite the city ground in Manchester, and um, it's quite a good shop. It's got lots of good things in, especially with football training. Which what we think about those sort of waterproof jackets and things like that. It's worth checking out anyway. So got this for one two ninety nine. This one which I bought a few days ago is a four hundred mil, and that's four ninety nine. And um, there those two, and just and then we've got this ice pack. Now these ice packs, how do they work? Uh, you like hit them with force like it says to punch them and then you like turn to a cold liquid and at first it's like a grainy sandy type of thing but not as small as sand so and then you kind of goes ice cold and you put it on it's only temporary you have to throw away it's disposable you throw it afterwards and these are 149 each and then we've got this other thing which is quite good you put in the freezer you've got these little kind of beads and the ice up, so do you want to open that one? Let's have a look. Let's have a look at the view. So that's $4.99, reusable cold compress. So this is what it looks like. So that's that. And then you've got a sleeve that you put it in. So it kind of, um, it's got all the instructions how you use it. Um, tells you to put it in the freezer, gives you all the instructions, got the instructions in different languages. But anyway, you put it in the sleeve and then you can actually attach it uh, with Velcro to parts. So if it's your arm, you can fix it around your arm. So you put this in here, yeah? Like so. And you put this in there once it's iced up. And because it's all little small beads, it's quite flexible. So you close that with the Velcro bit there, and it's quite squishy and flexible. So you can bend it, and then you can pull it like around your arm, and you can attach it with the. Here we go. Have I done that right around? No, I haven't done the right way around. Have I done that right? Ah, oh, there. It is that way around, yeah. So you can do it like so. You can kind of attach it. Quite clever. Really clever idea. So you can pull it. Um, so this would be probably you'd probably more like to use this at home and use these out and about. Because to be honest, we probably made it if we were going for a full tournament, but maybe we're going to be out for a while and we wouldn't be able to get it back. But other than that, we'll keep it in the freezer. So we'll just keep it in the pack in here. Take this out and put it in the freezer. We've got um, one another one already. You have never too many of these things. The, the thing is, um, that, you know, if you you could always buy one, but then if you need it and you're desperate, it's always worth having it. It's a bit of mission putting it back in now. But um, so yeah, so it's worth having it. Worth paying back. Worth having these instant packs in the car or at work or wherever. Because if you do pull something, if you just pull your neck, you can just put it on, can't you? Yeah. Yeah. straight away and that's going to be reduce any swelling or inflammation and help and also you can take you know things like you know you can take stuff or you know they say about raising the limb to pull down and what you do first 
straight away is really important um, to help it to heal, you know, anything that you pull off strain. And especially football, you never know. So it may never happen. But then again, we always say, uh, what is it? hope for the best, prepare for the worst, isn't it? Mm-hmm. So with that's just a touch of like that. So that's like that. And then we can put it in the pack, close it up. Put it in the pack and it's all together then. It's quite clever because the pack is also, what can you do with this here? Uh, we see both, so it's so brilliant for four ninety nine. It's worth it because you can use it again and again. You could say, why don't you just use this? And have this, but you won't always have it iced up unless you remember to take it. But this is full straight one display. So, um, your brother did find it quite a bit painful, didn't he, when he put it on? Yeah, so you're meant to do it 20 centimeters away, so it's here 20 centimeters away from the point. So, it does ice up. But we initially only, only had the cuff on this side, so I got this side, and then found this the other day. It makes more sense. Do a lot more with this one. Uh, you can spray a lot more up, so we'll keep it in the bag. We're going to do a review of our, uh, what do we call it, what, what would you call that bag that we take to, f- uh, how do you refer to it, what do you refer to it as? I don't know, it's like a, like a bag that you like bring it extra stuff, like nothing to do with football, it's just like safety stuff, uh, the stuff you just might need. So this, the stuff you might need bag, how's that? The stuff you might need bag. So we'll go do a video on that pretty soon after this because we um, it's not going to be very long, very long this video because um, uh, basically not much to say apart from, yeah, pretty good stuff. They're not that expensive either. So like I said, for this one, $2.99. This one, $4.99. How much that one? That is called... One. 149. 149 for that cold but that is obviously once you've used it you've got to throw it and if someone decides they want to have a bit of fun and squeeze it and break it and mess it up then if it gets a very bad knock in your uh, bag it may just you know you know go cold and you've used it but once you use it you, you're done with that and this reusable one which is brilliant I think 499 there was a hot and cold one as well but I think more important it's kind of cold when you have a injury or even if you have a swelling due to like infection they always say you put something cold and not hot so it would make sense to put something cold on you so i just figured just get the cold and it's cheaper and um it's a brilliant idea absolutely brilliant idea brilliant um, thing is so the instructions always have the instructions because you never know it does mention about how long you should um have it applied to the ear so yeah so that's good obviously you know if you do get injured and you know you take painkillers and you rest it and you get something cold in it and it's still not right you do need to get checked out you need to go out to your your doctors your gp or hospital plus you would if you just pulled something a bit in a football match you wouldn't go to the hospital or your gp you just you know you just got these things that can do the trick and painkillers are safe to take them well they're safe to take for you you know which help and then just rest it obviously it's for this or gets really bad or gets swells really bad and you can't put weight on the area like your knee or your ankle then you do need to get checked especially if you've had a bad um been in a bad challenge or or bad tackle you know or you've really twisted it you do need to get it, get yourself checked out so these are only things to use immediately after what what's happened we should put some painkillers in the bag as well do you oh yes. just in case bad you know or whatever we want to call it Anyway, so that's that. So we're also going to have a look at this that we bought, I bought today from um, Sports Direct and it's a Sondico Dual Action Pump. Dual Action Pump, wow. But we'll just use it for like pumping up footballs, so what's the s- bicycles and that. Oh. So what's the story behind this one then? Four pounds it was from so Sports Direct, so you can see. We went on holiday and we bought two footballs and a pump. When we came back, wait, wait, wait. We didn't buy them. I we mean, took them with we, the... we bought them with us two football, uh, deflate, deflated footballs and uh, a pump. My normal bicycle pump, isn't it? We've had yeah. for years, yeah. And uh, we bought it back, and I saw it on the bookshelf, but then when we actually needed it, it wasn't there. So yeah. 
My dad ended up buying this from Sports Direct. We did think we were going to need it today because we were going to go football training, but then we had to get your school shoes, didn't yeah. we? Your and rucksack. Then it started raining. Your rucksack. Um, it started raining, so we didn't get to do it, but we can't find a pump, so I'm, sh I'm sure as soon as we get open this packet up, we're going to find it. But then at least we've got a spare. So four pounds, not too bad. It's just something that's good. So should we open it up? Do you want to open it? Yeah. What we'll do with you, we'll do that review that rucksack you got as well. Mm. Yeah. So later we've got a rucksack that's cool. You have to carry loads of heavy stuff, don't you? And that night one was um, a bit too flimsy. I don't, it didn't break, which is brilliant. It wasn't really comfortable carrying stuff, but the strap weren't very really padded. So, Sondico, pretty good stuff. What you do is pull that bit out. Where's, where's that ball so you can pump it? Come get that ball so you can pump it. And then you can um, unscrew that bit there, which is, I think, unscrewed. And then what you can, the valves, they look okay, they look all right. The yeah, valves always do look a bit and flimsy. That's a bicycle one. That, no, that's not bicycle. That's for um, inflatable, kind of like inflatable beds and stuff. But you oh. or, or inflatable beach boards, but you want to do a bed with that. We've got a lead pump. So that's the valve. There's two in the pack, actually. It's pretty good. So we've got a spare. So that's that there. Yeah. And exactly the same. They always look a bit flimsy, like going to bite. And they do bend these. You have to be careful of these because they bend. You can buy them as well, but... Why buy them if you don't need to? So okay, so that does have to stay on. That's the screws on there. That's for. I don't know. Anyway, we're not going to use anything other than things. So you screw that on there. And a moisture is a bit, wet it up a bit. Um, and you're just going to. Oh, here we go. This is our size three night ball. Um, pretty good. Again, we talked about um, what do you talk about size threes instead of size five because you know you need size five, don't you? Why are we talking about size threes and size twos and size one balls and tennis balls? Uh, because they're harder to use and when you use bigger balls, can be easier. Yes, it's about training, so making it more difficult. So when you're dribbling, doing skills and whatever you're doing, striking. We've seen the ball crossing the ball. You've got a smaller ball that's harder to work with. Well, that's the principle. I'm not sure if it's actually fact, but and um, principle of smaller the ball, the harder it is to use. Um, so we'll just try this, see what it's like. And on this ball, the skin has like moved, so it's like across the, the, the bladder whole. and the, the bit inside and the, and the cover. So that's not bad, actually, is it? Just seeing how long it'll take to pump up for the. Elbow greasing. <laughs> Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. A bit more. Okay, stop there. What do you think? Enough? Yeah. Right enough? There you go. Yeah. That's pretty quick, pretty good. What do you think? Yeah. Good? Yeah. How's it compared to the other one? Better? Well, either one slides easier because it's metal, but like it doesn't really matter. No, it doesn't really matter. So, the only thing is, if you had some kind of um, case that this could slot into the valve so they'd be protected, because obviously you've got the valve just sitting on them and they can kind of um, bend and break, so that's the only thing. So, we're just going to screw that on and we'll keep the other one in the side oh, as a spare. Or is there something? I'm screw open. Yes. Oh, that's not gonna make a. Don't think that's gonna make a difference. No. What? What have you done? Okay. That was useless. That, was, that didn't work. So. You just make sense to have a little kind of um, compartment to put the valve in, so you wouldn't actually um, you won't bend because just going to have to keep it separate. So I've got broken. Just keep it in the other one. We kept on the end anyway. That was pretty all right. So. They're not bad. Four pounds, all right, price, isn't it? In sports, are generally for stuff you can't go wrong. Although, when you're looking for the more high end football boots, you can only get like 18 point threes and stuff, and academy and 
you know. Uh, you can't get any 18.1s. Or 80 pluses or with the Adidas kind of stuff and you can't get the Elite or Pro versions of foot boots generally. So it'd be nice if there's a shop where you could go where you could definitely, I mean the Adidas shop you do have. But we don't have a Nike store in Manchester, do we? We used to have one, don't have one anymore, which is a real shame because it would have been very popular, I think. And uh, if the guys at Pro Direct Sports, they opened a branch in Manchester, that would be brilliant. Or Unisport, that would be good. Yeah. That would be great because on um, recently, uh, J Mike did a video about um, showing who Josh is, isn't it? Yes, soccer reviews. What were they doing in that? Uh, they were just uh, talking about the. the the predator colorway in that. And what else did I have the other video? What was that about? Do you see, have you seen that one yet? Oh uh, yeah, it was about um, some uh, some super flies and some. Uh, uh, you haven't seen the new video, then have you? No. Joshua showed around the uh, Unisport store. Oh, yeah, I've seen that. I've seen, I've seen that one. Yeah, so it was a brilliant shop. It looks like a great shop. It's just shame. We haven't got anything like that in uh, Manchester. I don't think we have anything like that in the UK actually. You got sports right, like I said, so sell generally pretty good stuff like the other video that we had, it's either on your one, uh um Boy Bandit, your mm. YouTube channel, it's on your brother's awesome kid YouTuber, his channel when we when he opened our football um training bag, the Sondico one. So that Sondico bag is pretty good, it's got a lot of stuff in like agility ladder and stuff. Though some of the Sondico stuff's good, like this is good. But when you're going to get, you know, when you want to get more kind of special stuff like, you know, uh, football boots. Um, I'm not saying that the Academy or the other type of Nike ones or the, you know, point twos or point threes or point fours aren't any good. But it's just nice if you get hold of the um, 18 pluses or the plus or the point ones or the pro and elite for Nike. It would be nice. So a store, store like that would do pretty good, but it's where there's enough demand for it, isn't it, really? Yeah. Yeah, so especially kids' size, that's why getting hold of kids' size good stuff is hard. So Nike should, uh, Nike and Adidas should uh, take note. They should do more smaller sizes for kids. Yeah. Yeah, definitely, definitely, definitely size. Two, because only do, I only get three and a half, so your younger brother can't really get any of the really good stuff. You can get some of them. But not like hypervenoms, which you want hypervenom, the elite, isn't it? Yeah. Hypervenoms, yeah. Or 18 plus X's. Or 18 plus X's or stuff like that. You can't get it, unfortunately, it's sad to say. I mean, so we're not talking about buying them when they first come out, we're buying them when they go cheaper, isn't it? When the new colorways or yeah. new models come out, we wouldn't buy them at the full price anyway because that would be ridiculous because your feet are going to grow. Though you haven't grown a long time, have you, your feet? Mine. Yeah, not really. It's still, it's strange, it's a very, very interesting thing about sizing. We went to Clark's today, and what, what size did they say you were? Six and a half to seven. <laughs> G, G, wasn't it? F. F, six and a half to seven, F. And you're still wearing a five and a half, five and a half size Predators, uh, 18.1. You've still got some wriggle room, so it's strange how the fittings change. We had a disc chat with a lady at Clutch because yeah you can get a lot of variation you've been the individual manufacturer we'd always find so that's another argument so you know if you could get the actual shoes that you wanted in the stores to try them on and they were if they were competitive in their pricing you would buy from them but a lot of the time they're not even pro direct sports will sometimes be outdone by Nike and Adidas the individual like Nike and Adidas websites so pro direct sports generally very good you know, really, really good for price. And, um, and uh, who else is good? What have we got from before? We haven't mm. Really pro diet, isn't it? It's pro diet, really. Yeah. So um, we may have to um, move to, when you get your hypervenoms, eventually go to Nike because Nike ones, the, the previous uh, colorways are going cheaper. Yeah. But they're low cut. So again, if you want the black hypervenom elite, you're going to have to go to Bodo 8. So we'll just see, see what happens with that. But anyway, we're just trying to do a bit more, yeah, just chit-chatting because um, this video is going to be very short otherwise. So that's it really. So 
Hey, what do you say about the pump? Happy the pump? Quite happy? Worth it? Yeah. For If we find the other one, it'll just be a spear. So we could possibly keep this <coughs> in the car. Mm-hmm. Or in the, uh, in the just a case of an emergency bag, football bag. And this could, one could go in that, one could go in that actual Sondico bag with all the kind of cones and uh, agility ladder and uh, those other things we have in my boots and stuff in there. We will put one of these putts in the Sondico bag and the other ones will go in our emergency bag. Um, these stuff really good. We've used this before. Works good, doesn't it? Yeah, right, works right. good. Um, and we've used this before. When did we use, did we use it? For, we used it for your brother, didn't we? When we came when he got back home. Yeah. Got it out of the freezer. So the one we've actually got in the freezer at the moment, we got out and we put it on his knee. And he's been okay since. However, it has happened twice to him. So we've got to be a bit careful because he's young. He's only eight, and uh, we don't want him to have any major problems long term with his football athletics or Thai boxing isn't it so he's running off yeah because that's not good you know one thing's loving football the other thing's injuring yourself um long term by doing too much yeah and not being careful with stretching which is important warm up stretching that's one thing we'll do more of isn't it yeah so uh, if you watch um what's his name uh the one does uh, becoming elite Becoming elite. Matt. Um, Matt. Matt. Is it Matt? No. Michael. Mike. Or Matt. I don't know. I don't know. Right. Okay. Anyway, a uh, really nice guy. Becoming elite. It's a really great uh, YouTube channel as well. He talks a lot about his uh, his uh, struggles with being a, when to be a professional footballer and being a professional footballer and then getting injured and things like that and how he trains, how he warms up for matches, what he does for matches. Really, really worth checking out. Uh, and also, um, Sheldon, is it Sheldon? Sheldon Tweedy. Sheldon Tweedy, um, about his 365 day um, challenge of signing a professional contract. Australian guy, really nice guy, really laid out. They, they don't both know one another actually, so, um, and he went through, he didn't make the challenge, but he's uh, learnt a lot from his. Um, uh, a YouTube channel, so it's worth checking out as well. Uh, obviously, you've got Unisport, they're brilliant. You've got um, uh, Unisport, uh, soccer reviews for you, Josh, it's soccer reviews for you. Um, and the good thing about uh, becoming elite and Sheldon Tweedy's um, uh, YouTube channel is they do analysis of their games and they analyze every single touch they did. So they video the game and analyze it and they say, I should have done this instead, I should have done that. They're very honest and with their performance and they talk about, you know, how they do stuff. And it takes a lot to do these videos, so it's really appreciated. We we subscribe them, get the bell notification so we get them popping up most days and we just uh just watch them, don't we? And you learn quite a lot from these yeah. guys. And the other one, Michael, is the name Michael, isn't it? Seven M L C. 7 MLC. Yes. He is brilliant. He's a English uh, footballer, professional footballer. He was born and from Nottingham in the UK. And he is in America. I'm not sure he's in America still. He may be back in the UK now, but he's in America. And he does. His uh, videos are fantastic on uh, ball mastery, crossing, striking. He very breaks everything down really beautifully nice. And he shows footage of him doing the stuff himself. The other guy is brilliant, Will John. I haven't seen a video of Will John for a while. I'm not sure why. Will John, American a soccer player, not American footballer, because that would be wrong. American soccer player, professional, really funny guy, brilliant, and he's got somebody he does the stuff with. He advises you about how to um, passing, long passes, lots of stuff about doing skills, and he's a brilliant player. And so is, um, I think Michael, his name is. Yeah, so... Uh, a lot of stuff, good stuff at ball mastery, knowing how to dribble the ball. Because a lot of these skills are good, but, um, doing skill, outskilling people. But if you can dribble, you can do a lot. Um, the other one is Simply Soccer, American uh, soccer player. He's really good. So it's worth checking out all these YouTube videos. They're ones we check. Once you check out one, you tend to pick up the other one. So I'm not sure if anyone, anyone's, anyone can suggest for us, but we just want to learn as much as we can. And these are the people learn from actual people who are, went through 
yeah, a high level of maybe amateur football or professional football, and they've got a lot to teach. They've learned a lot, and they teach a lot of stuff, so it's all worth checking out. Anyway, should we speak now? Yeah. Yeah, so. Um, so good. Um, thanks for watching. Please, um, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to um, uh, leave a comment um, to say which channels are good. Um, That'd be brilliant, yeah? Yeah. Uh, we'll see you next time. Peace out.